Yo, what's up guys? So just want to close this vlog with a central lesson that has become very clear to me. Um, now we're closing the second week of 2020. It's been a great two weeks. 2020 has been great so far. Played our first show with Flaming Dingoes. Kevin and I are making progress on the album, which should be out May 2020. But the lesson is that for those of you who are aspiring online entrepreneurs or aspiring musicians or creators or artists who are more so introverted this message is more so for you guys um, because like that's 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 totally me I am such an introverted person I enjoy solitude um, and I can really relate with what I'm about to say here so so listen closely so for those of you who are trying to create a sort of online brand or who are trying to create um, or get, get your music out there online, let me be the first one to tell you that there's nothing more powerful than in-person networking, okay? And I think there's a tendency for introverted entrepreneurs, musicians, artists who are trying to create an online brand to overlook the power of in-person networking and going out and meeting people, okay? And spreading your message and your brand in person, okay? There's just something about meeting people in person where the level of trust is just elevated, you know? When, when you are in front of someone and you're telling them your message, you're telling them your brand, and, and, and they meet you in person, there's, it's like they have you, they're, they're on your team. You know, when you're there in person, they're on your team immediately and they're gonna pull their phone out and they're gonna follow you and they're gonna show their friends because they're like, hey, I met the founder of this person, uh, of this brand, you know what I mean? But when you're posting things online and you're trying to build your brand online and put videos out like this, that level of trust isn't really to that level of in-person networking. Okay, so I just want to make that clear because, you know, even I've fallen victim to this assumption that like I can build a brand without in-person networking. And I think, I think that's possible. Yeah, it's possible. And you can learn search engine optimization and get really good at creating funnels and all that stuff. But take my band Flaming Dingoes. I think cumulatively uh, in 2018 and 2019, I think the band played, it might have been three shows in total, if that. I think we played three shows in total. <laughs> and we were so focused on, you know, recording music and getting the music out there on these platforms that we really lost sight of going out there and playing shows. And there's just, as a musician, there's nothing really more powerful than going out there and playing shows. Now, I'm not saying neglect your online content and your music. I'm not saying neglect that. I'm saying find a balance. Beef up your online content um, and, and whatever you're doing with your brand. Get that on point. But the most powerful way to get your message out there uh, and to get people on your team is to go out and meet people in person. So I think for 2020, the band has become Flaming Dingoes. We've become very clear on this and we're gonna go out, we're gonna go play shows, man. Like shows are the priority. Again, balancing our online media, of course, but um, that's gonna be a really big thing. And, and even for getting our message out here for Genghis and Pierre, you know, just going out, playing shows, hanging around where other artists are, um, and going to events where there's other creators, entrepreneurs, and, and people like of that nature, that's really the place where I wanna be hanging around for 2020 and just building relationships. So for those introverted uh, musicians, entrepreneurs, take this message to heart, okay? Make sure you have that balance. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.